Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tech with Sach. My name is Sachin, a Google developer expert, and in this episode, we will learn how to build a conversational action from scratch using the new actions builder. We will also learn how to respond to users with a greeting message, ask users a question and respond appropriately to the user's selection, provide suggestion chips so that the users can click to provide input, and finally, modify the greeting message to the user based on whether they are a returning user. If this is your first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well as hit the bell icon so that you can be notified for future videos. So without further ado, let's get started. To test the action you built in this code lab, you need to enable the necessary permissions so that the simulator can access your action. So to enable this, go to the activity controls and make sure that you enable the web and app activity permissions. From there, the next step is to go to the actions console. You can do this by going to console.actions.google.com and create a new project. Agree to the terms of service and hit continue. Go ahead and create a project name of your choice. Since we are building conversational actions, click on custom and click on blank project. Generally, users start the conversation with your action through invocation. For example, if you have an action named movie time, users can invoke your action by saying a phrase like OK Google, talk to movie time. Where movie time is the display name or your action name, and you can also choose a specific Google Assistant voice of your choice. From there, we move on to main invocation. So main invocation is the entry point for users to start conversation with your action. By default, the Actions Builder provides a generic prompt when your invocation is triggered. So prompt defines what your action sends to users as a response. Prompts can be simple text and speech responses or rich messages like cards and images. In the code editor on the right side, we have replaced the text speech field with a custom message. And another thing to note is you can either use YAML or JSON formatting to edit your prompts. Let's go ahead and test our application up till this point. The Actions Console provides a web tool for testing your actions called the simulator. To invoke your action in the simulator, type Talk to my test app in the input field on the top left and press Enter. Let's get the test version of my test app. A wondrous greeting, adventurer. Welcome to the mythical land of Griffinburg. Based on your clothes, you are not from around these lands. It looks like you're on your way to an epic journey. When you trigger your action's main invocation, the action responds with your customized welcome message. At this point, the conversation ends after the assistant responds with a greeting. So let's go ahead and see the event logs. While you are in the test tab, the panel on the right shows the event logs which displays the conversation history as event logs. Each event log displays the events that happened during the turn of the conversation. Your action currently has one event log, which shows both the user's input and the action's response. Now that you have defined what happens after a user invokes your action, you can build out the rest of your action's conversations. So the next step is to click on the invocation name and under the transition, Instead of ending the conversation, we are going to transition to another scene. So let's name the scene as start. So immediately you can see that on the left navigation menu, we have the start scene. So click on the start scene and click on on enter. And let's add another prompt. So this prompt gets triggered immediately after entering this specific scene called the start scene. If you're not familiar with scenes, Scenes are building blocks for your action that processes user's input and typically generates the response to the user. In this case, replace the response with your own custom response and then hit save. And the next step that you would do is to generally add a suggestion. So we can go ahead and add suggestion chips by using the UI and click on the suggestions button. From there, you can actually go ahead and directly edit on the editor 
of how you can add yes or no suggestions. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click save. So let's go ahead and check our action up till this point. Before we actually proceed testing with our application, let's reset the test application and click on talk to my test app. Let's get the test version of my test app. A wondrous greeting, adventurer. Welcome to the mythical land of Griffenberg. Based on your clothes, you are not from around these lands. It looks like you're on your way to an epic journey. Before you continue on your quest, would you like your fortune told? As you can see, our action right now automatically adds the response that we have added in the prompt in the start scene. Along with that, you can also see that we have the yes and no suggestion chips shown directly on the screen. As I mentioned earlier, the event logs on the right hand side is an excellent tool for developers to actually debug as well as follow the entire conversational turn. So let's see what happens to the action when we click on the yes suggestion. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Can you try again? So let's try and understand why we got this specific message. In the start scene, or let's go back to the main invocation. And when we enter the start scene on on enter, we have provided a specific prompt. Now, when you go to the intents, at this point, even though we have added yes or no suggestion, our action doesn't know how to handle it, right? Because there's no specific intent matching the yes or no response. So in that case, the actions builder automatically provides you with system intents. So the no match, no input and cancel are system intents that you can actually use. And you can also customize these messages instead of sorry, I didn't catch that. You can actually go ahead and customize those messages based on your specific action. So let's go back to the start scene and go ahead and try and handle how we can add an intent which can actually handle both yes as well as no intent. So the way how you do that is to go and create an intent called yes. And at the same time, once you enter the yes intent, we have to train add training phrases to this specific intent. So by adding these training phrases, the assistant NLU would automatically do the machine learning processes and understand what exactly are the specific phrases that should be matched with this specific intent. In this case, it is yes. So go back to the start scene and click on custom intent and add your yes intent over there. When this intent is matched, we have to go and add a specific prompt accordingly. So go ahead and save that. Now that we have handled the yes intent, let's go ahead and add another intent called no. And it's the same process. Go ahead and add some training phrases, the recommended is at least 10 phases a user might say to match the specific intent. Click on save, go back to the start scene, click on custom intent and from the drop down choose no and add a prompt as well. So whenever these specific intents are matched, the response is what gets triggered from this specific prompt. So save that. Since we have added a yes and no intent to our start scene, let's go ahead and see how we can transition from this intent to a different scene. So in this case, we are going to make sure that both the yes and no intent, when it is matched, it's going to end the conversation. So let's go ahead and test our application up till this point. So reset the test and trigger talk to my test app. Here's the test version of my test app. A wondrous greeting, adventurer. Welcome to the mythical land of Griffenberg. Based on your clothes, you are not from around these lands. It looks like you're on your way to an epic journey. Before you continue on your quest, would you like your fortune told? So the moment we click on the yes intent, 
Your future depends on the aid you choose to use for your quest. Our application right now, or our action in this case, to be exact, right now knows that this specific suggestion or input that the action has received is yes. So immediately it would match up with an intent called yes, and based on that intent matching, a specific prompt message is sent back as a response. So in this case, it says that your future depends on the aid you choose to use for your quest. And the same thing goes the same way with the no intent Here's as well. Here's the test version of my test app. A wondrous greeting, adventurer. Welcome to the mythical land of... I understand, stranger. Best of luck on your quest. Farewell. But again, you can see here that the prompt that we added for the no intent is based on a different response. Just like that, we can also see that once the intent is matched and the prompt is displayed as a response, since our transition was to end the conversation, the action would automatically end that specific conversation. Up till this point, the action's responses are static. When a scene containing a prompt is activated, your action sends the same prompt each time. So let's try and implement a fulfillment that contains the logic to construct a dynamic conversational response. Fulfillment is the code that contains the logic for your action. A webhook triggers calls to your fulfillment based on events that occur within your action. In this case, we have chosen inline cloud functions, your fulfillment, which uses the actions on Google fulfillment library for Node.js, responds to HTTP requests from Google Assistant. You define the greeting handler, which checks if the user previously visited the action by checking if there is a value in the last scene time property. If there is a daytime value, the message acknowledges the user's return and generates a modified greeting. Otherwise, it provides the new user with the original greeting. It's important that you save and deploy your fulfillment. Once your fulfillment is deployed successfully, go to the main invocation. Now that you have defined the greeting function, you can configure the greeting event handler in your main invocation intent so your action knows to call this function when the user invokes your action. To configure your action to call the new greeting handler, all you need to do is to go and click on main invocation, clear the send prompt and select the call your webhook and add greeting in the text box. Here, Greeting is the name of the function that we have defined in our webhook function. Let's go ahead and save the new changes. Now that we have made our webhook as a response to the main invocation, let's go ahead and test our application. Let's get the test version of my test app. A wondrous greeting, adventurer. Welcome back to the mythical land of Griffinburg. Before you continue on your quest, would you like your fortune told? Since you have already tested your action earlier, you're not considered a new user. So you receive the following shortened greeting. And this specific greeting comes in directly from your webhook based on the last scene time property. Your future depends on the aid you choose to use for your quest. Choose wisely. Farewell, stranger. With that, we have successfully covered the part one of this code lab series. In this specific code lab, we have covered how to set up an actions project with the actions console, how to add a prompt to the main invocation so that users can start a conversation with your action, how to create a conversational interface with scenes, intents, transitions, suggestion chips, and fulfillment, and also how to test your action with the action simulator. Let me know your comments and thoughts about the new actions builder in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified for future videos. In the next code lab, we will learn how to use slots, conditions, how to add a game loop and a supportive path to build a complete conversational action. With that being said, my name is Sachin. Hope you all enjoyed this video and see you all in the next one.